Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are currently backtracking in Spyro 2 to get the last things in Summer 4 so we can wrap this homeworld off. I'm going to start off in Glimmer since they start you right outside of the world, and because it's there. <coughs> However, by saying that, I just kind of reiterated what I originally said, and like always, everything that we've done has kind of been forgotten, but... The n also, another thing is that the numbers might be a bit different just because I'm currently playing this off of my practice file. So, or not my practice file, I don't have a practice file. Pretty sure that my playing abilities is kind of alluded to my lack of anything, any preparedness. But from my backup file, which was basically where I recorded the first video from, but then something messed up and I had to go do it again or something like that. I forget exactly what happened, but uh, I probably talked about it in part two. But yeah, this is basically the original file, but that was only up to like uh, part of the way. That was only up to 100%ing uh, Idle Springs, if you remember that. Oh yeah, that's right. The Idle Springs commentary went and went. <laughs> that was totally mature of me, by the way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, head up the ladder. Do I have an- yes, I do have enough guys killed. You want to make sure that you have some of them dead. So that you can go up here and have the power up ready. And apparently I'm missing some gems. I shall look for them in a minute. So this is to get the last orb of this level right here. In which, like the first one that I got, or maybe the- yeah, it was the- I think it was the- I'm pretty sure it was the first one. Whichever one where you had to light up these gem lamp lamps, you're basically doing that again. And we need one more. They give you barely enough flying power. So, yeah. And that should have given you 100%, but I apparently missed a gem somewhere in this world. So I'm going to go quickly look for that, just so we can get the little thingy to show up. Apparently it was right around here. Maybe. It might be out. Oh, it's outside there. Okay, so I'll go there, and it's pooping different colors, it's a rainbow. But anyways, while I'm doing this, basically what happened is that I played for 20 minutes, got stuck in a minigame, I'll point out which minigame when we get there, and I stopped the recording and then restarted again, however, me being me, and always forgetting to do things, I forgot to uh, rename the other recording to something else, so basically overwrote my first 20 minutes of recording no way to get them back as far as i know wow i can't get up there okay fine i'll just fly up there yeah no way to get it back so here i am on my backup file doing this again i hope you all are happy at least i'm not just saying like oh well you're on your own now but yep there we go glimmer complete so we can go ahead exit level and go to go through summer forest so yeah, but that's basically the story behind that. I think I told all of it, most likely. Uh, lost file, redoing it. Okay, so now we have three orbs here, two of which that I could have actually gotten before I left this world. Oh, I forgot to grab all of these gems, I was wondering. Okay, so yeah, I grabbed these before, but I didn't this time because there's actually a secret passage right down here that you could have gone to right when you learned how to swim underwater in this world. But I forgot about the secret passage, so now here I am. So yeah, here's uh, the uh, other end of the secret passage. This is actually that orb that was taunting me earlier. I kept on trying to glide towards it, and I never actually got it in my actual file. But here I am getting it this time. And that's still not all of the orbs. I think I might have missed one here, apparently. I went underwater here. But apparently, Sparks, where is the orb, or the, how many gems am I missing? Oh, 24, oh right, there are still other gems that I have yet to get. So let's just continue in here, because I'm now going to get the only orb that I actually couldn't get until I backtracked from the second homeworld. It's right in here, if I could. It's so annoying how they kind of put two doors there. Well, they didn't kind of do it, they actually did it. Quiet, Alora. Go ahead, climb up this ladder. There are a whole bunch of gems right around here. Then on this little thing, there is your orb. 
And then there are some more gems which you can go and grab and it's cool. And lastly, our final orb is right around here. And this is another one that I actually could have got gotten before I went to the other home world. Basically, you jump here, you glide, hover, you can grab these last couple gems. And as long as you didn't hit the switch to open up this door right here, uh, this door would be closed right here and you couldn't get to this, so you want to make sure that you glide like that. And there we go, Summer Forest is complete. And now all that I have left is Sunny Beach, which is where the mini game, where I played for like 30 minutes, took place. That is the way to the boss, I do not want to go that way. It is, uh, 90... 100% because I was being stupid, which is why that took so long, that minigame. So, I'm going to go ahead in here, and we're actually missing two orbs, as well as a bit of treasure. Uh, quite a bit over 100, actually. 103, I believe. And, again, some of it I could have gotten in this world, but I just completely missed. It's right here. Everything else, though, I legitimately couldn't get without the climbing power-up. So if you go right around here, you can actually go into this little section that I just missed completely. Step on this turtle's back, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of gems up here. Luckily, I don't need to kill a whole bunch of enemies to get the power back this time, because the two orbs are actually from the same minigame, it's just a harder difficulty. Kind of like the platforming segment in Huracos, where they had two gems in the same place, and you just had to beat it. Okay, so I believe that's all the gems in this section. Quite a bit, actually. Good job me for missing all of those. But oh well, I have plenty of gems anyways. So let's go ahead, skip through here. Well, I need to bring this turtle over to his little spot where he will stay forever. Now then, there is this ladder right here, which I couldn't climb. So here's a couple of gems. It's like 10, but still, it keeps you from 100%ing the world. So you want to make sure you grab all those. And now I need to open up that door. So Mr. Turtle... Go, go. Um, there was a Tootsie Pop commercial with the turtle, which is what I'm thinking of right now in this world. You jerk. Oh, you jerk. Don't do that. Uh, I'm looking for a penguin or something or whatever. Oh, starfish. Okay. There we go. I hate having a green sparks in case you haven't noticed. <clears throat> Almost as much as I hate having no sparks. Mainly because uh, green sparks means that I'm one step away from no sparks. And no sparks in this game is not only annoying because uh, both you're really close to dying, but also there's nothing to pick up all the gems around you. You have to literally like put your body on them rather than just have them absorbed towards you by your little dragonfly body. And you want to make sure that you go in here in order to grab these last couple gems. And there we go, we finally have an even number of gems. And if I could get up there, that would be great. There we go. And now let's start this mini game. This is the mini game that took me like 20 minutes, but now I'm okay because I remember what to do. And it is much, much, much simpler. This guy sounds super weird too, in case you could hear him while I was talking. But yeah, keep the turtles out of the cauldron. Uh, for whatever reason, these turtles are kind of suicidal and want to be cooked. So basically, what I was doing was that I was constantly flaming the turtles in like this, but they go a very short distance, and it becomes really difficult, especially in the second version of this minigame, where you get, like, ten of them, and you'll have, like, three or four out at a time. However, the easier version, which is what I'm doing right now, is where you just charge them. You could do that version of the game by flaming, I was able to, however, the second one... Uh, the second version of this game with a whole bunch more turtles is incredibly difficult, if not impossible. And I at least found it impossible. And then I randomly charged into a turtle accidentally, and I saw what had happened, and I was amazed. And I was super happy because I realized, oh wait, there's a super fast way to do this mission. I am stupid. I just wasted like 20 minutes of my time. And they also bounce all over the place. It's humorous. However, that one did just... You want to make sure you keep them away from the pot because they will jump in for whatever reason. I don't know what compels them to, but it's there. It's just a lot more difficult to fail this if you charge into them just because they go flying and... Oh god, I'm about to charge. I would say to flame them when they're about to jump in. Just because that'll keep them from jumping in. You'll buy yourself a little bit of time. 
See how much easier this is? I mean, normally, right now, I'd have, like, eight of them. Or, not necessarily eight, but, like, four or five of them at, at the pot at once. And I swear, if I miss this last... I missed that guy. Wow, go me. So, it looks like we have a little bit of fail anyways. God, that... That was bad. Oh, I feel bad now. This poor turtle. We're making some turtle soup. If you catch the drift, however morbid it may be. But then again, these turtles are stupid enough to jump into their own death in this soup because they want to. I mean, nothing's really forcing them to unless that chiming is like hypnotic, which I highly doubt. But I mean, these turtles are doing it upon their own free will. Also, this guy is a huge purple duck penguin thing. I don't even know what they are. I'm pretty sure they're ducks because whenever you hit the pink ones, they would like quack so there's my reasoning and they can also bounce off of each other oh man that guy barely didn't go in i'm going to go ahead and take the liberty of completely missing him okay keep them away now i'm kind of screwing up even if i am charging them and it doesn't help when oh man double kill sort of not really didn't work out i'm going to go ahead and charge you because you're right there but then there's like three of them right here Boom, boom, it's good enough, keep him away. Aw oh, man, bounce him off the cauldron. Speaking of cauldrons, uh, just randomly I guess, uh, just something to talk about. Oh wait, we're done, never mind, but I must... <laughs> you're not a rat, you're a duck. <laughs> well then, yeah. So there we go, there's our orb, three out of three. And Sunny Beach is now complete. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the backtracking stuff. We're done with Summer Forest completely, worlds, homeworld, and everything. And, yeah, that's backtracking done. So, now what? I have, like, eight minutes left. Uh, I really don't want to leave it at just this, because I normally go for 20-minute videos uh, on these Spyro things, which is both good and bad, because I'm able to get stuff done in 20 minutes. I mean, if I were to go for 15 minutes like I normally do... You see, that door will be closed and you couldn't get to the orb. But if I were to go for 20 or 15 minutes like I normally do, I don't think I'd be able to finish some of these worlds in a single video. Heck, I'm still not able to, even uh, going 20 minutes, especially in this game. But at the same time, it takes up a lot more people's time. But I don't know. I mean, really... I honestly don't know how I feel about the whole 20 minute time limit. I guess I like it because it lets me do more stuff and I've been using the 20 minute time limit for me this entire time. But still, you know. But I, do I call it here or do I do a speedway? That's not a speedway. I honestly don't know. There's a speedway around here. Um, well, see it's not even 15 minutes though, but it's barely not 15 minutes. I see Speedway. Um, I'll give it a go. Hopefully.